Hey there, busy kids. Welcome to lesson number four. We're nearing the end of this module. Today we're gonna to be learning a new hand position. We're gonna call it middle C position. And we've learned all the notes for this position except for one note in the bass clef. So I just wanna show you that note now. It's this note right here. And that is the F below middle C. So these are the notes in the bass clef that make up middle C position, F, G, a, B, and C. So we've learned all the notes except for F. Let's take a look at what the hand position is gonna look like on our keyboard when we have both the right hand and the left hand on the key. If this is middle C, then these are the notes that make up middle C position. So this is the F that I just showed you on the bass clef staff. And this is the highest note of it, which is G on the treble clef staff. So in this position, my thumbs are actually going to share middle C. And then the other fingers will look like this. So finger five on F, four on G, three on A, two on B, both finger ones on C, two on D, three on E, four on F, five on G. Can you take a moment and find middle C position for me on your pianos? First song is going to be middle C warm up, and I wanted to just take a moment to review some of the terms that we have learned when it comes to reading music on the staff. So do you remember, first of all, what this is called here? If you said treble clef, then you're right. This is our treble clef. What about this one here? This is our bass clef, very good. Now, do you remember what this thing is called here, these numbers? That's our time signature. So we have how many beats in every measure? If you said four, then you're right. This top number means four beats per measure. This bottom number four means the quarter note gets one beat. So I'll count one, two, three, four, and there'll be a bar line. And then we start over one, two, three, four, bar line, one, two, three, four, bar line, and so on. All right, I want to take a moment and review the names of the notes in our bass clef staff. So let's start here with middle C. I already gave that one away. Here's middle C. What's this next note here? If you said A, then you're right. And then we go back up to middle C, very good. Then down to G, up to middle C down to, this is our new note, F, very good. And then up here is middle C again. Now on this piece of the music, you're gonna play all three of these notes at the same time. Do you remember what we call these curved lines that connect one key to the very same key? If you sit a tie, then you're right. These are called ties. So we're gonna play all three of these notes once and hold it for this many beats plus this many beats. So how many beats total will I hold this chord here? If you said eight, then you're right. We'll hold it for eight beats. Let's take a look at it on the piano now. So I'll be in middle C position for this piece. That's the new hand position we just learned where our thumb share middle C and then the other fingers just fall into place. Two on D, three on E, four on F, five on G. My bass clef hand, finger two on B, three on A, four on G, five on F. Can you find the hand position for me? Good. Now watch what happens to me as I play this piece. I'm gonna play C, D, back to C, E, back to C, F, back to C, G. So I always come back to middle C there. Can you try the first measures for me? Very good. Now for my bass clef hand, I'm gonna do C down to B, back to C, down to A, back to C, down to G, back to C, down to F, back to C. So again, always moving back to middle C. Make sure even though your thumbs are sharing middle C, you might just scooch the right hand thumb out of the way while you play this part of the piece, or just lift it up a little bit, or just make sure you're using the left hand to press down. 
Whatever it is, just make sure you're using the left hand finger one to play the middle C for this next part of the piece. You go ahead and try measures five through eight, the bass clef part. Good, now at the very end, I'm gonna play middle C, both hands together, and then G in the right hand. So I'm gonna play all of these at the same time. Play one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. You've now learned all the portions of this piece. You're ready to try the entire thing. Let me play it for you. You can try playing along or just test to see if your piece sounds like my piece. Here's your middle C warm up. I have the lid of my keyboard closed. I want us to actually try Parade without looking at the keys right now. Now, we're just gonna, you can use a drum or you can use a piano bench or the keyboard lid. And I just want you to pay attention to the fingering here and practice this hand shape here. I'm gonna use fingers one and fingers five in the right hand and I'm gonna play them together at the same time. I want to keep a nice round shape, almost like a bridge, like my fingers are forming a bridge that I could drive a little car over here. So let's just try the first two measures, not on the keys, just on, on some type of solid surface. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three three, four. Very nice. Now let's try it on the keys. So finger one is on C, finger five is on G. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, short, short, three, four. Good. Did you keep those staccatos nice and crisp? Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Very nice. Now you'll notice this chord shape, this C and G shape, repeats itself again in measures five and six and the very end. So you've just learned a whole lot of the piece. Our bass clef hand, left hand, is gonna be in middle C position, so thumbs are sharing middle C. Look at measure three. I'm gonna start on C, and then I'm just gonna work my way down to F, and then back up. I'm keeping everything nice and round, and I have a slur, so it's very nice and legato there. Can you try that for me? Very good. You've learned all the real important pieces of this piece of music here. So now you can work on it on your own, put all these pieces together, and when you're ready, try the whole thing. Here is Parade. Thank you. 